Hello, Roberto. Good evening. How are you? Welcome back. Back in action. Hello, Jocelyn Jasmine. How are you? Good evening. How is everybody today? ¿Cómo se sienten hoy? Feel good? I feel good. Da, na, 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 na. And I know that I would now. Da, na, 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 na. So good. Da, da, so fine. I'm going to make you mine. All right. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I hope that everybody is having a good night. I hope that you had a good Wednesday. We're going to get started. I would like for us to go to lesson objective, reading friends across the continent. So for this activity, we're going to be looking at section 5.14. In this class, students will read an online chat and develop skills in reading for details. Read for me the instructions in Spanish. Roberto. Hello, Roberto. Can you hear me? Eh, buenas noches. Hello, Roberto. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Can you read for me the section in Spanish, please? En esta clase, los estudiantes leerán un chat en línea y desarrollarán habilidades en la lectura para más detalles. Excellent. Now we are going to look at a reading text. Listen, please. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll read an online chat and develop skills in reading for details. So let's get started. Reading. Friends across a continent. Meg Martin and Kathy O'Brien chat online almost every day. Meg is an exchange student from the U.S. She is studying in Mexico. Kathy is in the U.S. Hi there. Hi, Meg. What are you doing? I'm sitting on my bed with my laptop computer. I'm doing my homework. What are you working on? I'm writing an essay for Spanish class. Can you chat? For a minute. Where are you? I'm in an internet cafe with my friend Carmen. I'm having coffee and she's reading a magazine. How is your family? They're all fine. My father's working outside. He's mowing the lawn. My mother is out shopping. Where's your brother? John's not home. He's playing soccer in the park. Oh, wait. My mother is home. She's calling me. I have to go. Okay, bye. Bye. Okay, guys, so for this activity, what you are going to do is you are going to write a similar conversation between two friends chatting in the discussion forum. You can write about, imagine you're writing your cousin, your brother, your sister, your friend in another country. You could speak about your activities in school, 
you could speak about if you're working, uh, your daily activities, the gym, whatever you want. Do you understand? Yeah. All yes. Right. I'm going to put you in pairs and you have 10 minutes to do the activity. 10 minutes. Let's go. Es el uno, el cinco punto doce. Cinco punto doce. He's playing ten. Ah, ya le encontré. Oh, no, 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 perdón, perdón, perdón. Es el cinco punto quince. Cinco punto quince. Reading friends. Across. Reading friends. Okay. Ah, across, okay. Okay, ahorita me cambio. Vaya. Bueno. Cinco punto. Eh, 5.15, veamos qué cargue. Eh, tenemos que hacer un, tenemos que escribir una conversación similar, ¿verdad? Sí, sí, como que estuviera chateando con algún amigo. Ok. Veamos. A improvisar. A recordar un chat de hace poco. <risa> Más fácil, vaya, iniciemos. Sí. Vaya, sería de iniciar, va saludando. En estos casos, por ser un chat, de igual manera podemos, eh, pues la palabra contactar, si no me equivoco. Así como en lugar de poner I am, poner I'm. Porque, es mm. un, porque según recordaba en las otras clases, eso era cuando, cuando era una conversación así hablada. Como... Como, o sea, tú te refieres a contractar el... Eh, va, por ejemplo, como ahí aparece escrito, que parece contractado. Ah, sí, sí, correcto. Sí, aquí también aparece contractado, ¿cierto? Ajá, el I'm, they uh -huh. Bueno, si está acá, me imagino que sea después. Sí, lo podemos utilizar. Sería... Um, hi, sir.
Sí. Sí. Ahorita. No, por eso, pero mi pregunta es hoy o mañana. Ah, chiste, dale. de la del sur y de, de, de la Santa Mónica también.
All right, guys, is everybody finished or do you need more time? Is everybody finished or do you need more time? ¿Ya terminaron o necesitan más tiempo? Yo ya terminé. Ok, gracias, Pati, por responder. Vamos a continuar. Vamos a continuar en la next section. For the next section, we're going to be looking at... Eh, veo que hay gente que la grabó. No la tiene que grabar, la tiene que escribir. All right, section 5.16, knowledge check. Listen and read the conversations. Then respond with the name of the person doing the activity. Instrucciones. Escuche y lea la conversación. Luego responda con el nombre de la persona que está haciendo la actividad. Across the continent, Meg Martin and Kathy O'Brien chat online almost every day. All right, let's do this one together. Uh, Patty, levantó la mano. Mm, eh, no sé, pero no escuché nada. Ah, okay. Les voy a repetir el audio. Okay. Reading. Friends across a continent. Meg Martin and Kathy O'Brien chat online almost every day. Meg is an exchange student from the U.S. She is studying in Mexico. Kathy is in the U.S. Hi there. Hi, Meg. What are you doing? I'm sitting on my bed with my laptop computer. I'm doing my homework. What are you working on? I'm writing an essay for Spanish class. Can you chat? For a minute. Where are you?
I'm in an internet cafe with my friend Carmen. I'm having coffee and she's reading a magazine. How is your family? They're all fine. My father's working outside. He's mowing the lawn. My mother is out shopping. Where's your brother? John's not home. He's playing soccer in the park. Oh, wait. My mother is home. She's calling me. I have to go. Okay, bye. Bye. All right, so right here, we're going to check if the person doing the activity. For example, number one, who is writing an essay? Mm, he is Kathy O'Brien. Excellent, Kathy O'Brien. Uh, who is having coffee? Meg, Meg Martin. Meg Martin. Uh, who is working outside? Kathy's uh, uh, father. Kathy's father. We skip three. Who is reading a magazine? Carmen. Carmen. Who is shopping? Kathy's mother. Kathy's mother. Kathy's mother. Who is playing soccer? John O'Brien. John O'Brien. John O'Brien. All right. Excellent work, guys. Any questions referring to this activity? No, no. teacher. Okay. No. All right, guys. Eh, llegamos a la sección del examen final. So, in this section, you have to work individually. You have the rest of the class to finish the final exam. You may begin.
For examen board.
teacher. Teacher. Hello, buddy. Did you raise your hands? Yeah. Um, eh, después de después de terminar, ¿qué, qué vamos a hacer? Ya terminó usted. Pues solo tengo una pregunta que no me no, no, no la puedo contestar, pero ya terminé todo. Ok, es, eh, el sistema automáticamente le tiene que generar un certificado. Ya, les, ya se lo certificado. Ya se lo este, generó. Fíjese que no, no, pero no he terminado. El, ah, ok. Ah, pues parte. cuando usted termine, eh, el sistema automáticamente le manda su certificado. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Ok. Yeah. Gracias. Yes, of course.
Hello, Patty. Hi, teacher. Hi. Este, ya terminé. Okay. Pero este, puedo terminar lo otro que me falta. <risa> claro que sí, claro que sí. sí. Si necesita regresar a, a completar alguna sección, sí lo puede hacer. Ok. Este, vamos a hacer otra cosa más. Eh, ahora solamente esto, terminar el examen. Ok. Ah, pues gracias, teacher, por, por el tiempo. All right, Patty, a la orden. Thank you. Gracias. All right, guys, time's up. So we will continue tomorrow. If you are not finished, that's going to be your homework. Good night. Good night, teacher. Thanks. Bye. Thank you. Good night. Good night.